Kate Bosworth, where do we start? I don't know, Maybe. I know. So good, wow. Um, I love this new chapter. Thank you. In your life. Yes. It's really interesting. It's my favorite one. Yeah, I'm, all, I'm, I'm so signed up, by the way. Thank you, oh good. <laughs> Not that it matters to anybody, but you know, obviously yeah. I'm, I'm signed up and I'm interested and this is a great part for you. It is. A real grown up, grown up part. Yes. And you have that great line about, women and you, you know, that she, whole, I have it written down. I took, actually, I should show you my notes that I took while watching the movie, but anyway. That's, that's like the sign of a complicated of movie. Yeah, <laughs> I was like writing, notes. I couldn't, like was writing all the stuff. Well, just, I love yeah. the lines and, and that, to me, your character that, that is part of Neil Cassidy, an extension of him, and mm -hmm. you're kind of this shared commodity between these two heads these mm -hmm. two juggernaut maniac egos mm -hmm. but yet not at all at the same time like right. you're um and i love that kind of um character and for you the way you're putting up with it but at the same time you kind of for me as an audience member really clarified who he was you see a lot of him through her eyes which yeah. i think is great um because there's something unapologetic and also sympathetic at the same time i did a lot of research uh, particularly about the beat generation women. Mm -hmm. And what I found most interesting was that the beat generation is a real segue from the kind of conservative 50s into the sort of free-loving mm -hmm. hippie age. Mm -hmm. So there's this kind of conservative um, desire that the women of that generation had, yet were becoming more liberated and um, exploring more mm -hmm. of themselves. So I really wanted to capture that with her obviously this movie uh you fell in love on it separately yes. um you guys have a whole other unit now because of it mm -hmm. uh what was that like working with him and kind of getting cast in this and <laughs> well you know I, I i fell in love with him as a director first um mm -hmm. you know i think as an actor you always search for that creative match in a director, because I think as actors, you always feel like you're kind of searching for ground. You're a little mm -hmm. bit, um, oh, just not firmly planted, you know, because nothing's really in your control. You, you want it to be in your control, and you try desperately to to find footing somewhere. But it's really with a filmmaker, I think, that you find your match and do the best work. So, the moment that Michael and I worked together, it was very much that immediate match that way, where I felt like, oh, this director, I, don't, I hope I don't mess it up, because mm. <laughs> I want to work with them over and over mm -hmm. again. And, um, and and then, you know, we worked together, and it was it was an extraordinary experience, my favorite experience as an actor, mm. as an artist. And then uh, it was it was a little bit after that that, that we, you know, became romantic. Mm -hmm. And uh, and now we have a very creative household, and it's just mm. a combination of the two, which is the dream. Mm -hmm. That's you great. Um, and it's great to see you. Oh, I'm so happy to see you. I can't look forward to this next decade. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much.